Dorothy here with Done by Dorothy. We are here today for our 25 days of Christmas. We are on day 22. Yes, day 22. I am so shocked. This went by so fast. Um, so we're going to get with it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. So make sure you join our Facebook group. All the links will be in the description box below. So this is day 22. We are going to get this image, which is very vintage. I love it. And we're going to get this cute, cute image. Okay. And again, we're going to be using our 25 days of 25 days stamp set from Stampin' Up. If I use any ink, it'll be Tim Holtz uh, Distress Oxide and Vintage Photo. Um, I think that's it. So let's get started. Okay, these are the two images we're going to be using after I cut them out. Let me... And this is 110 uh, pound cardstock. There's that. And it even has handwriting at the bottom. Cute, cute, cute. So this is what we're going to be making. And it has the little tuck in the side. And we have, I know that in the last video, <clears throat> excuse me, in day 21, you guys may have wondered because I didn't go through the journal, open the journal up and put the ephemera in that is because it will go into today's and we'll tuck it all in when we go through there today so this is what we're gonna do for today so without further ado let's get started so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna ink up our little card let me do this real fast okay okay so again if you have any little white edges you don't have to worry about them because that ink as you go around will just cover them up. And it will all blend in and nobody will even know that you cut crooked. Because sometimes we do. I mean, you know, let's face facts. We're all human. We all make mistakes. Well, at least I do. I can't speak for everyone, but I do. Sometimes a lot of them. Okay, so let me grab my little ink thing, my ink sheet that I've been using. I'm just very lightly doing this without, I'm not putting any pressure because if you put pressure then you're going to get this circular pattern. So I'm just getting the edges of my, I know look how much I've wore it out and that this was brand new when we started guys. So I have, we have inked quite a bit. This journal has been so fun to make, I've enjoyed making it with you guys. Um, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and stamp our day 22 stamp. And I love this because it's 11 plus 11 is 22. I think that's so, just so cute because of all the different ways that they write the numbers out. There you go. So 11 plus 11 is 22. So we have that done. We're inked. We've stamped. Literally, guys, this is how fast this goes. So we're going to cut our little and this is some vintage ribbon that I had and I just had you know a couple little pieces of it not a whole lot of it it's extremely ugly I know all right okay it's not it's very vintage but it's not something like I would really use for anything other than this so it works and then when I bought this there was a little goober and where they taped it down on the thing so I'm just going to lay my green within my red and create that gorgeous little border with the glitter in it. I'm going to lay it over the end. And again, you guys know me, what am I going to do? I'm going to pull out my Tim Holtz Ideology Tiny Attacher. Voila. That is done. You guys, seriously. That couldn't have taken four minutes for me to go through all of the jabbering I did and then to do this. Seriously, when you can make an ephemera that fast, it is so worth it. So, there's that. Okay, then we're going to create the page. And again, this is going to go really, really fast, guys. We're going to create, you know, a large pocket tuck. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to ink up our edges. Just around the outside edges. And you'll notice, <clears throat> and well, I'll show you in a minute. In the example that I showed you earlier... We did, it was on 
the left hand side page. This one we're actually putting on the other. Okay, it was on the right hand side page, I guess. I should say. The way that it. I'll show you. Hold on. Okay. In other words, this one is on the right hand side, so the tuck goes to the outside page. Make sure you, when you glue this, the, the side that you glue down, the long side that you glue down, or the vertical side that you glue down, is against your spine. Because if you pick, put this all the way up to the side, you're going to have like this much room, which right now, when it's not in the spine, is fine. But, if you've got it sewed in your spine, you're not going to be able to get up in there to get anything in it. So you need to make sure it's on your outside edge of your page. So, this one, instead of going on this side, because again, if this was in our spine, you'd only have this much room to tuck stuff in. We're going to go this way, which opens it up where you have everything out here. So, that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to pull out our, this is Art Glitter Glue. And I'm just going to do, you know, about a quarter of an inch. I go down and come up a little stream so I have at least, you know, a little backup on there. So it's not just one little thing of glue holding it. And I mean, you can, technically you can go up the middle if you want to do a third and make sure since this is going to get a lot of friction against it as we go. And if you're smart, you don't do like I did. See? See what I did? But luckily, I need to add a page of this anyway, so I can just pull out my new page and glue it down. Because I knew I needed to add at least one more page before for the next couple of days. Okay. Because I'm going to add some extra pages, so there are, is some blank journaling pages to write on with you know a little bit of stenciling um, and you know you'll see that when I go through after all of the doing all the ephemera and all that then we'll go through I'll you know pull straighten my pages out figure out signatures how I want to do it I'll do all that on camera so you guys can see it and then um, yeah and then uh, I'm just trim this a little bit longer than the page. Um, you'll be able to see when I st I'll stencil those extra pages as I'm putting them in, you know, with little odds and ends and things like that to cover it up. And I'm just gonna swipe some glue across there. I'm not even gonna just enough to make sure it's held down. I'm just going to line it up the best I can on this side. And if there's some that hangs over, that's fine because we can trim it up in a bit. Now, to do that while it's still wet before it dries, I'm going to go through and pull out some of these strings because I like sort of that shabby, it's old and worn and, you know, starting to come loose, frayed look to it. So if I do that before these... Some of them will, some of them may already be, and you know, I'll just do it along the top. I don't really, just sort of give it some worn, frayed edges to it. And technically, I mean, we don't even have to cut that off. We can leave that sticking out to the side. You know what? I'm going to take the red parts back. Let me pull these all out if I can. I'm going to hold the red parts back and cut that outside edge off. Only because this actually has a small wire edge to it. And I don't care about it sticking out. Like, all the little red frays can stick out. I don't care. But I don't want that wire sticking out to bump into your fingers or anything. Okay, so there's that. Now we got to do it across the top, too. Because I actually did run it across the top and the bottom. Again, I'm going to cut that just a little bit bigger. I'm sorry guys for sniffling. My nose is all starting to loosen up, which I'm so thankful for, so I'm not going to complain, even though it's aggravating, especially when you're trying to film. And you know, if it was any other day. And again, I'm going to go through and 
pull my little red doodaddies out. Just because I like sort of having that frayed look, I just think it adds to versus, you know, just that plain sort of boring edge. And again, I'm going to trim that up. And straighten my little red ends out. And if it frays after that, the green does, then, you know, just don't pull on it. That helps. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you have that little frayed edge sort of sticking out, which isn't going to look bad. It's going to look good. Give us some little fillers. You guys are really going to enjoy um, the one I'm going to do in January. I'm not giving any hints away right now, so no, don't even ask. For all you guys who are going, but, but what time is it going to be in? What are we going to do? And Then I'm going to run the green through, and I'm going to stop it sort of short because I want to make sure I... And again, I'm just going to sort of measure this so they're even. They don't have to be. That's just my oddity, I guess. Put that over there out of the way. Then I'm going to create my little flag just by cutting my little triangles out. Okay. And I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac again just because I'm adhering this to that ribbon and that ribbon's goofy. It doesn't like to take a lot of the art glitter glue. Didn't like to stick to it. I tried. I'm just gonna put that up there, and I'm gonna run this down here. That down there, right like that. But anyway, the one that we're going to be doing in January, there's going to be a lot of more lace involved, like around the edges. There's going to be sewing, um, a ton of stuff. So I'm sort of excited about that. Okay. So we have that. So let's stick our little card in here. And let me grab our stuff we had from yesterday because I'm going to slide my tag in there if it'll fit. No, it won't. No, it won't. Okay, well, we can slide this one in there. Oh, and that's going to look cute. Look, that little tab is going to stick out. That's going to look so cute. So, let me put it in this one, too. Um, yeah, I'm just, I don't want to stick it upside down, so. Um, yeah, it's okay. We'll just stick it out like that. Oh, I did both these the same way, didn't I? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we may move these around to something else. We shall see. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let me get one of these out of the way so we don't get all messed up. Get all this out of the way. Okay, so this goes in one. Okay, this goes with this. Let's put that over there. And this is here. So this goes in with this one. So instead of me putting this big one here, let's slide this here. That'll add a little lace tab on the outside. We'll slide this into here. That might help hold that in a little bit more. Maybe we can slide, maybe put that in there too. Nope, don't like that there. Okay. Nope, I don't want to put anything there either. Okay, so. Put that there. Let me pull up the rest of our album here because we've sort of got stuff tucked everywhere. You know what? Let's take our big envelope out of our tuck there, slide it into here because we're going to have a little bit more room maybe. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, I like that a lot better there. Feels a lot more secure. Okay, so that's there. Let's see, that's our outside. So we can put that there. Okay. 
Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. And there, we can do that there. That looks cute. This we will throw down in here with this. Ta-da! You guys, seriously, this is getting so big. But, again, we're almost done. So when we separate this into two, it looks really big. But when we separate it into two, it's going to be two, you know, nice size, about inch and a half. Nice, nice, nice. So let's just see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages. So by the time we split it up, we have seven, I may add three more pages and have 10. So I have five pages in each signature, which will give us 20 pages, which will be about 40 pages. We could actually throw a couple extra pages in there if you wanted. We'll see how it works out. Let's pull the other one out and get this all put in here. Of course, this is a new page in here, so let's just tuck this here. And I may do some stenciling on these. I'll use these as stenciled because they, did, they didn't they did age as much. But I sort of like that look because it just did really good. Okay, we're going to put that up there. <clears throat> Tuck that in there. And then go back to where we just did our page, which is right here. Let's pull this one out of here. our envelope in there and that sort of holds that envelope closed really well okay let's do that then let's see where is oh yeah see that fits in there really good that behind there Move this will put in the other pocket. I'm gonna put that up in there because I don't like how that covers that. Um, okay, and then this. Where do we put our little pockets up here? In it. Yes, it's up here. And we'll put this in there. Put that little fabric tab out there. Oh yeah, guys. What do you think? We gotta straighten that. It's all gooby where it's rolled around. The spine's not centered anymore. Where it hooks up on itself sometimes. And again, as we sew the spine in, that'll straighten a lot of that out. Okay, so there we go, guys. Uh, 22 days. I will see you back for day 23. You guys have a great day. And remember, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And all the information will be in the description box below. Have a great day, and we'll see you later. Bye.